guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is my name is Bungele Gosse and I'm back with a hair video so guys today I'll be taking down my two months and a half braids I had installed this braid before the 21st of December and today is the first of March <laughs> so some of the curls I had already lost them and they are now looking dull and all that but guys just look at the growth my hair is a pretty short so but it has grown a lot so it is time for me to take this hair down like i'm so over those braids but i really really did love them so much and i've been quite busy that is why i had cut them this long because whenever I would try to take them down I would get busy with something else then I'll be like uh, I can wait for another week another week turned into a month a month turned into two months like now we are here it's currently eight o'clock at night so what I have I have my red tail comb my scissors and a plastic bag and i'm hoping i can by nine o'clock i'll be done that's what i'm hoping for <laughs> i'm not saying by nine o'clock i'll be done i'm just saying i'm hoping by nine o'clock i'll be done and i'll definitely be washing my hair tomorrow not today so guys let's get to work <laughs> And then we're done with this. And it's currently 20 past 8. Hopefully, this will take me 30 minutes. Or the latest, I should be done by half past 9. That's what I'm hoping for. what I normally use to take down my braids and this helps with removing the knots like because this is all the product built up so it helps with separating everything
hi guys it's currently 12 past 10. <laughs> i don't know what made me think that i can finish my entire hair in like an hour it's been two hours and i've just did half my head i still have to do half so and i'm just going to continue to do that off camera because yo that's taking forever and i'm just not gonna go to bed before i'm done i'm just going to finish and i know that tomorrow is just going to be my wash my hair wash routine and whatsoever because i actually want to do and also a protein treatment so which means that's the thing with natural hair it takes a lot of time that is why you can't really do it when you don't have the time to do it you just rather wait until you have the time to do your hair because yeah yeah so guys let me continue and i'm watching a little bit of netflix and uh, hopefully i'll be done with the 12. that's what i'm hoping for i can't if by 12 i'm not done i quit <laughs> down my break guys it's currently three past 12 and i am done and i'm excited and something terrible has just happened i think it might have had happened a while ago but i did not realize it because i was just too busy with work my netflix account got hacked can you believe it <laughs> Right now, while I was busy doing my hair, taking down my braids, I was like, okay, let me switch from watching YouTube. Let me watch a little bit of Netflix. I want to find that I can't access my account. I tried to sign in and tell me a wrong password. I tried to reset the password. Do lo lo, I fall. Then it hit me. And I also haven't been really checking my emails. I go to check my emails and I'm seeing Netflix sending me something in a language that I can't even read. Then I try to translate the language. It turns out that they say my account got paused because of there was an issue with the payment. Then I go to, to my bank account only to find that just today, Netflix charged me double my subscription. <laughs> Guys, this, I'm laughing, but it's not funny. It charged me double my subscription. At the same time, I can't have access into my account then i'm like then i scroll back into my old emails i realized that netflix had once sent me a mess a an email saying that they had seen a login from a different location which means someone had hacked my account a few weeks ago but because i was busy with work i was not watching netflix and normally when I'm too busy with work, I cancel my subscription, then renew when I'm less busy. But this time around, I was like, no, I'd rather, because I'm, my subscription is like 100 rand. So I was like, nah, I'm just going to leave it. When I'm less busy, I'm just going to go back into watching. But now, I regret not unsubscribing. I regret not. And what's worse is that when I look at, at my debit mandate, Netflix does not even appear. I can't even reverse them. <laughs> so I don't know. Tomorrow, first thing in the morning, I'm contacting Netflix. I'm contacting my bank. I want my 200 rand back. I can't be paying Netflix for Netflix for someone else to watch. That one, I cannot do. Netflix must pay back my money and then find a way to retrieve my account because I don't know. Hackers, guys, they are making us miserable. Okay, even if I don't get the 200 rand back, but for my own uh, safety and protection, like, I did also, but I did cancel the card because I had a, an F&B virtual card that I use for my online stuff. So I canceled that card immediately. I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. It's one of the reasons I have a virtual card. So that's when things... Uh, there are questionable happen. I can just cancel that card and block whatever. I don't use my main card for online purchases because I know they can hack you like they did now. So hopefully I can get back my 200 rand because even if they had charged me, they were not supposed to charge me on the 1st. They were supposed to charge me on the 9th of March. So this time around, it was a little bit too early. 
so i don't know I'm going to update you guys so if i i manage to get help let's stop rambling about the netflix issue and let's appreciate my hair guys my hair i don't know if you know guys i had i had to cut to go i had to go bold because i had scalp issues my scalp has healed and my hair is a little bit thicker than it was and let's do some line check guys let's do some line check look at this my hair has grown quite a lot it has grown quite a lot so tomorrow i am going to wash my hair i might record it i might not record but i think i am going to record for you guys my wash day routine so guys see you in the morning it's already morning it's after 12. <laughs> hi guys it is the following morning this is the following day even though i actually finished everything today so what i normally do before i wash my hair is to give it a apple cider vinegar rinse so what i have here is water and apple cider vinegar so i'm just going to spray it in my hair and what i've realized this has helped me a lot especially with my scalp because after I had dyed my hair hmm, last year, I had a very serious scalp damage. So, and it also helps with dentrap. It helps with dentrap. So I'm just gonna spray it in, and then leave it for some time before I wash my hair. That's what I'm going to do. And I simply make sure that I massage into my scalp. I don't scratch, I massage with my finger palms. Okay, now that my hair is actually them, I will leave it on for some time. Roughly 10 to 15 minutes. Then I will just put a plastic bag on. Then see you guys after 10 to 15 minutes. Okay guys, now I'm about to wash my hair. I use this organic shampoo. This has aloe vera. It's two in one. And then I use this conditioner. It's for dry and damaged hair. That's my go-to. I'm just gonna wash my hair. And I'm thinking I'm also going to do a protein treatment. So,
I'm just going to leave. That's how in for a few seconds to suck the Now I am going to apply a protein treatment. So I'm using this originals. African burst hair mayonnaise. It's almost finished, guys. This is how much is left. I've been using this thing always. And my hair is feeling feeling rather clean. So I am going to work in sections. Because I am going to detangle in the process of putting the hair mayonnaise. Done. I have my hair in twist. It's finished. It wasn't really enough, but then there's nothing I can do about that. Probably next time, because I'm going to buy some more. Probably next time, I will do it. I'll do the pro the, the protein treatment properly. So I'm just going to keep it in this plastic plastic bag for like 15 minutes. For like 15 minutes then rinse it off and this is the amount of hay I've shaded this is actually two months of shading <laughs> So there's been an improvement and even the texture of my hair. My hair is starting to thicken up. And like a few months ago, I think January, no last year early. Last year late, not early. Last year late my hair was like so so thin and fine. But now I feel like I'm getting my hair texture back. I must be doing something right. <laughs>
finally done. It's not perfect, but I actually plan to do a twist out. So I'm going to leave this overnight and tomorrow take it down and see how my twist out in short hair will look like. It's been a few days since I did this twist. So today I will be taking it down for a twist out. So first thing first, I'm going to spray my hair. Give it some moisture. And then oil my hand. Rub some oil into the hair. And then start All taken down I even separated more so now I'm just gonna use the comb to trick at the bottom to give myself a little bit of volume Okay, done. All done, guys. This is looking rather, rather pretty. And I know in a few days it will look even better. So, guys, I'm going to end this video here. If you like this kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up below, leave a comment. See you guys on my next video. Bye.